So, Jimmy, another successful year for both the under-23s and the under-18s? Yeah, the under-23s this season um, uh, had a really good season. Um, finished third in the league, very unfortunate not to get second place. I think Hull got a last-minute goal last game of the season to, to jump above us. But um, that's a squad that um, unfortunately was decimated at the end of last season. Um, five or six players who would have been regulars in the team uh, moved on. Uh, and so it was a rebuilding process uh, and quite a successful one. It gave us uh, opportunity to play a lot of under 18s players in there, uh, and they certainly um, have done well for themselves this season. As indeed the under 18s, they finished fourth in the league. Uh, so between the two teams, uh, a successful season really. Um, and I think the whole uh, sort of academy structure and the players within that have benefited from um, the interaction with the first team players on a daily basis. Uh, and having the first team and the staff down here. Um, Monday mornings in particular, the under 18s players get to train with the first team boys who haven't played in, actually in the first team on a Saturday, so the squad players train with the under 18s and it's, it's been a real uh, benefit and, and a great experience for our players in their development um, to train with uh, obviously the, the better first team boys. We've seen a couple of lads make their first team debuts this year. Alex Perry and Jack Earing and Jake Turner's been in the mix. Callum Spoon has travelled a couple of times. Yeah, um, I think uh, Alex and Jack played in, um, I think, the FA Cup and the Checker Trade Trophy, uh, respectively. Uh, Jake Turner sat on the bench. Um, so it's, it's been great experience for those players. Uh, and I know the manager um, did try to get uh, Jeff King um, registered, but um, Football League rules uh, wouldn't allow it at the time. Um, but it's sort of um, it's, it's been a, a good experience for those players, uh, and it's been pleasing from my point of view. We've offered uh, five outfield players a third year part of the scholarship. Three of those five: uh, Cole Longsdale, Harry Brockbank, Jack Earing from the Bolton area, uh, with uh, little Sammy Zade from Manchester and Ryan White Blackpool. So there again, we, we're keeping the, the theme of um, a lot of these players have been with us from age nine. Uh, and that's certainly encouraging. Um, we've offered 10 scholarships this year uh, and four of those players have been with us from the age of under nine uh, and there again, seven out of the ten are from the, sort of the, if not the Bolton area, the sort of like uh, immediate surrounding area of Manchester. So we're, we're keeping up with our tradition of um, getting young players from around the area, keeping them in the academy and, and getting them into the scholarship ranks and, and hopefully some of these players will go on to to represent the first team like um, Josh Bell has done remarkably well this year for us and um, obviously in the past Zach Clough and Rob Holding. Yeah, you just need to look around the Football League to see the young lads coming through that have done well at all levels including Oscar Threlkeld as well in League 2. Yeah, um, Oscar's uh, pleased for Oscar that he got promoted with Plymouth. Um, I thought he, he played very well towards the, end of, um, the back end of last season and it was good to see Niall Meyer get a contract at, at Bury uh, and there's three other players that um, got picked up at, at the end of last season so um, ideally what we're about is uh, producing players for the first team but you know the, the the second prize so to speak is making sure these lads get a career uh, and obviously um, years gone by we've seen people like David Norris um, with the sell-on clauses um, be able to throw money back into the coffers when he, he gets moved on for a, a big money move. And how are you finding it I suppose uh, this first full year with everyone here at the Lost Art uh, Training Ground? It, it, it's been a great season. I think the interaction with uh, ourselves, the academy staff, with the first team staff has uh, been a very positive one. Um, it reminds me of the time when I first finished playing and went into coaching and, and uh, Sam Allardyce was manager and uh, there again up at Exeter it was a very tight knit group of people running the whole programme from first team down to under 18s and I feel that we've, we've got that um, camaraderie uh, and balance of um, being all professional people working well together uh, and I think the, the young players in particular have benefited from, from having the first team players in and around the training ground. We're no longer having to tell them this is the way to behave, this, these are the, you know, the food you need to be eating because they've got the, the living proof, the examples and, and the good examples of the first team boys um, showing them the way. And you've seen in recent seasons they've all gone from strength to strength. Exactly, and um, I'm really encouraged by our first year intake this year. Um, we've we've got some good attacking players coming into the club, uh, and I've got high hopes for for the youth team under 18s having a successful season next year, uh, and indeed the um, the under 23s continuing where they left off this year. 
and there were changes behind the scenes last summer with uh, Didsy and Spoons both stepping up, but it's been business as usual. Yeah, they've both done very well in their respective leagues. Um, Gavin McCann's come back into the club uh, to work with Nicky Spooner. So, um, you know, it, 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 there's been a level of consistency there. Um, Julian Darby's come back in to work with Dave Garn at the under 16, so um, Julian knows us very well in the academy. Whenever he's um, out of work first team wise, he's, he's always uh, volunteering to come down and, and help with the under 16s. And his experience and, and knowledge, know how it has been invaluable really for, for those boys this season. And it's nice to get that recognition around the country with Jake Turner getting in the England under 18 squad and a couple of lads getting recognition, I think, from the LFE. Academy Awards each month. Yeah, I think Jack Earing's um, been in the awards for the LFA, uh, which is part of the, the, the league football education, which is uh, you know more the education side of the, of the programme, but um, uh, they actually get awarded for the, or rewarded for the, the football exploits. But um, yeah, uh, it's, it's been a, a, an interesting year for young Jake. I think um, he started off perhaps as um, sub in the under 18s to start the season, then he ends up uh, sitting on the first team bench when we get promoted last game of the season so um, he, he's certainly enjoyed the, the roller coaster that is uh, professional football and it must be uh, very proud for you to see all these lads continuing to develop and we really compare well with clubs around the country yeah I mean um, one of the things that happened this year we, we obviously were audited in March um, for the audit process there's a, a productivity schedule that's um, compiled by um, people on behalf of the Premier League and um, it was particularly pleasing for the last three years. Um, we we compared to we were second in our category, so the of the category two teams, the the, the twenty uh, clubs, we were second in that. Um, and of the full seventy two football league clubs, we we were third most productive in that. Uh, and the really pleasing stat was, out of the football league clubs and the Premier League club, um, we were. Um, Categorised as the fourth most productive academy in the in the country for the last three years, so so that's a stat that um, I think it all the full time and part time staff uh, can be pleased and, and proud of really because um, as I said earlier we're we're getting young boys in at under nines and and um, seeing them playing the first team at, at um, Josh Vella's age at twenty one or twenty two years now Josh, but along that process there's there's a whole host and variety of people who, who've helped in in the players development. Here. I don't think any one individual can claim rights to saying they've made him a player. It's been the process and, and all the full-time and part-time staff together have worked very well in, in um, developing the players.